Hey there, and welcome to another Factorio video. Uh, today we're going to cover pretty much everything you need to know about the production challenge mode in PvP. Uh, now, if you've been watching some of my recent content, uh, you'll see that I have been doing quite a bit of that. Uh, done multiple battles of team production challenge in PvP, and it seems to be really well received, and you guys seem to really like it, but I've seen a lot of questions about different aspects of it, and one of the most common questions is how do you even access it or is it a mod and first off that's what I want to address it is not a mod this is completely vanilla factorio and all you have to do is go to play scenarios and choose the pvp scenario now it can be a little deceiving and this is another question um, there is a team production challenge mode um, but this is a bit different than what we have been doing and personally I'm preferring the pvp option uh, and then we can choose it within that and then there's also these other ones as well, which are uh, quite fun. Wave defense is also very fun. Um, but if you go to PvP here, and you create it. Now, one nice thing about this is you can actually edit resources and terrain and stuff for this scenario, right? So if I want, like, you know, huge iron and copper patches with that are, like, super rich um, and, heck, even frequent or whatever, we can do that. And it'll save these. I mean, we could even turn off a uh, binder expansion or whatever. And then you go to create this. And now we come into this area where you can choose all kind of options. And there's a few things I want to cover here. First off is how do you select the production mode? This is in the game mode options. There's several. There's conquest, which is essentially just launch, you know, be the first to launch a rocket. Um, space race, which is kind of similar. If you actually mouse over this, it gives you a description. Um, you know, launch a satellite, a rocket, uh, or have the last uh, silo standing to win. Space race, launch a satellite with a rocket to win. Um, you start with the silo already built, so it's kind of just a speed run to building the rocket, and whoever wins, you know, whoever launches it first wins. Last silo standing, free play, um, launch a satellite to achieve victory, which is so it's pretty much just free play, but like PvP. Uh, oil harvest down at the bottom, which is uh, first team to produce the required number of oil barrels, and then production score, which is what we have been doing, uh, and if that, that's what you want to do if you want to do what we've been doing in the videos. So you select production score, and now you have this option to select the score goal. Currently it's set to 50 million, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, obviously lower score is going to mean the game will be much shorter, higher score much longer. Um, you know, you can toggle friendly fire, lock teams, all that. Um, diplomatic privileges you can set there's quite a few options here auto assign or you can let people pick their teams um, spawn positions team together um, or just random uh, no rush duration so what this means is uh, you have you, you have your spawn area and you can have it surrounded by walls you'll see here this option is currently ticked on this no rush duration um, whatever you set this to and this is in minutes um, so typically we've been doing like an hour 60 minutes um, this means that you cannot leave your walled area until after the first hour of the game. Uh, and, and you can just change that to whatever you want. And then you can reveal map center. You can actually do like research starting level. Same with starting inventory and starting equipment. Um, you know, if you want to just like get a little jump on things, maybe skip the burner stage or whatever, um, which is really nice. And you add teams up here. You can name them, choose a color, choose what team they're on. Uh, and really it... I added like six or seven teams and uh, it, it didn't seem to have a problem. It generate, you know, it's kind of did like an octagon or whatever. Um, but you can do whatever you want. We'll just do four for this one. But uh, over here is kind of important because this is um, the distance between teams. So the, the bigger you set this, uh, the, you know, farther away it's going to be. I believe this is in tiles. So if we just bump this up to like 2048, uh then this will put the teams farther apart, map height, map width, you can set all that, um, map seed, and then if you want to like input an actual seed, starting area size, we'll just do like very big, and then you can set all this, and you can also do combat balance options, like change, you know, all these modifiers, you can disable certain items if you want, so say we wanted like uh, no one to be able to use a tank, you can just do that. And then, you know, whatever, whatever else, say we don't want artillery, you can just say that. And then those items will not be allowed. So once you do this, you can now confirm, and it will take a minute to generate here, but that's how you get into what we were uh, doing. Now, our particular scenario was actually modified. Um, Mojo had modified it 
to have the starting areas fully revealed already. That's not part of the base scenario. Um, but the good thing about scenarios is if you know what you're doing with uh, like Lua and like if you're a mod or whatever, you'll probably know how to do this. Um, you can edit them a lot. You can do a ton of stuff with them. And the nice thing about them is that they only have to be server side. So the modified scenario um, that Mojo did only needed to be on the server. Everyone else didn't need mods, didn't need that scenario. They could just join and it would be correct. Unlike mods where it all has to be exactly matching. So this is a really nice nice way to do it. And I'm just going to let this generate to show you what it would look like. Uh, but it's really, really fun. So I, I had it auto assign. You can have it pick. And here we go. So you can see our area is totally revealed. Uh, like I said, Mojo modified it. So all areas were totally revealed um, like to each person. Uh, but you know, you can see the distance here. Our area is walled, I think actually. Yeah, I think it is, but it's not revealing the entire area. So it's, uh, you know, we can't see that. But and then you can see these patches are gigantic, super ripped. So the settings did take effect for the iron and copper at least. And there you go. And now, you know, you can end the round under admin production score. This is where you see it. And each item has a score, like a, a point value when you make it. But then also, and this is what makes it interesting, is it has a point per, uh, deduction value when you use it. So you get, say you get, um, you know, you get points for like smelting iron, right? But then when you use that iron to make gears, you're actually losing points by consuming the iron, but then you gain points by, you know, making the gear. So there are actually some situations where some items like uh, a Power Armor Mark II are overall a net negative. Uh, because like when you make it, like all the item, like all the, because it subtracts the value of all the items you put into it, that actually becomes more than the points you get from the Power Armor and stuff like that. So it's really interesting. We have a spreadsheet that we've come up with. Um, can and uh, Veldek both have done spreadsheets. I will link uh, a spreadsheet in the description and it will show you all the values. It's not quite accurate yet. There's still some stuff that needs some um, adjustments, but for the most part, it's pretty accurate and it will show you all the values, you know, the net gain or net loss or whatever. And it's really, really nice. So if you guys are interested in doing this, this is how you do it. I thought I'd just give you an overview and let you know how easy it is to do this. Um, you can also to toggle diplomacy, neutral allies, um, the objective just shows and it shows you disabled items and stuff. So there you go. If you're interested, this is how you do it. I hope you found this helpful and uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like. But any other thoughts or questions you have, leave down below as well. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.